Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The North Korean news agency, KCNA, recently unveiled images depicting a live firing drill conducted by the North Korean military, featuring its latest innovation in multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, known as the KN-25. Termed as a super-large 600mm MLRS, the KN-25 breaks conventional boundaries between rocket artillery and operational tactical missile systems, boasting an impressive range of up to 380 kilometers, classified as a short-range ballistic missile SRBM, by the United States Forces Korea USFK, the KN-25 serves as a strategic asset for North Korea's power projection and deterrence efforts. The development and deployment of the KN-25 MLRS underscore North Korea's strategic objectives, emphasizing power projection and deterrence. Recent tests have showcased the system's advanced technical capabilities and operational flexibility. Significantly, recent battery salvos utilizing the KN-25 MLRS mark a notable milestone in North Korea's military exercises. Unlike previous tests, which involved launches from individual units, these exercises employed an automated battery command and control system. This advancement reflects North Korea's progress in military technology and underscores its focus on operational readiness and precision in missile launches. The tests targeted small islands, requiring high accuracy to hit such confined areas, demonstrating the missile's precision and reliability. With dimensions of 600 mm diameter, 8.2 meters length, and weighing 3,000 kilograms, the KN-25 represents a significant advancement in North Korea's missile technology. Its design incorporates an unspecified guidance system and features six rotating rear fins and four moving forward fins. This configuration, particularly the rotating rear fins, represents a notable innovation, enhancing the missile's stability during flight without rotating the entire body, thereby improving the effectiveness of its guidance system. The KN-25 can be mounted on versatile platforms, including a 4-tube Tatra 813 8x8 wheeled transporter erector launcher, TEL, or a tracked armored chassis carrying six tube launchers, ensuring rapid mobility and deployment capabilities. With a range of up to 380 kilometers and equipped with a conventional blast fragmentation warhead, the KN-25 is proficient in targeting enemy rear echelon areas, making it a formidable asset for battalion-level engagements. Additionally, North Korea has integrated the KN-25 into its arsenal of weapons capable of delivering tactical nuclear warheads, signaling a significant shift in its military posture and deterrence strategy. The KN-25's technical evolution, possibly influenced by the OTR-21 Tochka slash KN-02 Toxa, coupled with its heavy warhead and accuracy, underscores North Korea's focus on precision and lethality. Celebrated in state media as Jush projectiles, the KN-25 represents a cornerstone of North Korea's self-reliant defense strategy. Moreover, the strategic deployment of the KN-25 system, highlighted through the presentation of 30 tells at a significant political gathering, underscores its importance to North Korea's military and political leadership. This gesture emphasizes the system's unprecedented capabilities and North Korea's ability to overwhelm adversary defenses with a high volume of projectiles, showcasing a nuanced understanding of modern warfare's complexities. That's all for now, see you later.